Hello everyone! Welcome back to Manchis Art and Hobbies. Today is another resin day. I'll be using for the first time this color changing glitters. And in doing that, I will make Pandora style charms and some more pendants. So come with me and join me in this another video tutorial. Here I have this color changing glitters. You can buy this at Amazon if you want. Just click the link in my description box. I have here four different colors. One is red, pink. That when you move, the color changes. There's a blue, purple, something. There's a greenish and bluish and one that's purpley or rose pink something very exciting we'll see the effect later and these are what we're gonna make pandora style beads or charms look at this look how beautiful they are you can use this in your bling bling in your bracelet or maybe in your necklace anywhere I made this long time ago and once in a while I use them so we'll make new ones also let's try this color changing glitters in some more pendants you can use this as necklace or maybe earrings like this why not right so those are what we're gonna do in our video today so please watch the whole video and if you are new to my channel don't forget to subscribe like and click the notification bell so you'll be able to see all my uploads and for those who have been watching my videos for a long time those who have subscribed to me for a long time I want to say thank you thank you thank you very much because now we have more than 1,000 subscribers thank you I'm so grateful to you to you to you and to everyone I hope you continue supporting my YouTube channel so come guys let's go and make our video tutorial today I'll be using two kinds of resin today. One is um, my regular and favorite resin, magic resin. They changed the formulation. It has become more faster in curing. That's why I like it. Now for our finishing or for our coating, final coating, I'm going to use art resin because art resin has been tested by me that is really glossy shiny and very clear art resin epoxy in our description box so just click the link there and you can go directly to amazon to buy these materials other things that we'll be using gun is also from Amazon the price is just affordable and I will link it also so you can get it also using our links in the description box the first thing that we will do is brush this color changing glitters into our molds I've been used to using the um, weighing scale and the proportion would be the A is a little bit heavier 10 grams of A is 8.5 grams only of the B okay that's why I always put a marker in my bottles in my jars it says more <laughs> so I will not be mistaken in measuring and guys don't forget your PPE is your personal protective equipment, gloves, and respirator, of course, to protect yourself from the fumes 
and the danger from this chemical. Now let's pop the bubbles using our heat gun. This is uh, very good. It has two different speeds. You can use uh, low or high. I'm just using low because the glitters will fly away <laughs> if I use the high. Okay, so now we're going to pour our resin. I'll start with the green. Where's the green? The green is here and here. And molding time guys I'm so excited let's see if this color changing leaders that we used would be effective it's supposed to be red and then it turns into gold yellow the green turns into blue okay green and blue green and blue green and blue <laughs> Oh, look, the blue, when you move it, it turns into green. Oh, wow, red and purple. And now for our Pandora charms. Let's see, let's start with the red. Hmm. Okay, the blue is beautiful. It turns into green, blue and green. Oh wow, I like also the green. Nice, red, and then when you move it, it's like yellowish and sparkly. They're beautiful. I'm going to use a UV resin. Just clean up a little bit with your file or sand. Just put a small amount of the UV resin then stick it there and put under the UV lamp. Okay, our Pandora charms are done. This color changing glitters that we used. Let's see. Yeah, I like the effect. Now for the pendants, I'm going to use some nail art decorations here. <music> final coating and doming of the pendants I'm gonna use a clear and shiny resin this is art resin I always use this for final coating because it's so shiny and clear when you are doming use a doming mat so that if there will be overflow the overflow will just go to the holes of the mat this art resin has been sitting here for about 8 minutes because I want it to be a little bit thick when I pour it on top of our pendants. Don't put a lot if you're doming so that there will be no overflow. As a trick, you can also put a scotch tape around it. So I will ask my grand niece to try my Pandora style beads. Let's see, Claire, show it. Oh, 
Do you like it? Mm-hmm. It's pretty. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Which one do you like most? I like um, the purple one, the bluish purple. Okay, so I'll give you two. Two for you, two for me. <laughs> really? Yeah, I'll give it okay. to you. Thank you. Okay. Those color changing glitters are really effective. You can also buy color changing glitters at Amazon.ca. See the link in my description box. And you just click it and buy it within 24 hours. That's what I'm going to do from now on. Always link the materials in my description box so that you can buy them too. Mm -hmm.